Celeste from The Girl in the Cafe and today I'm going to be showing you the Melita Avanza Home Espresso Machine. Now some of you may or may not already know that I actually test a lot of coffee equipment and uh, coffee machines from loads of different coffee brands. I sometimes test them before they've even gone on the market like prototypes and sometimes they're already products that exist in the market already. I don't always post about them or make a video about them but if I do it's because I think that there is something about this that might be a benefit to you guys. I've actually been given this machine ahead of its release so by the time I get around to editing this video hopefully it'll be out but it's just to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of what I think is actually a really good option if you're looking for something that is compact, it's convenient, it's easy to use and consistent and you're a studio or an office that may be drinking anything from two to eight coffees a day then I think this Avanza is something that you could look at. I'm gonna go into this Avanza machine but I'm gonna give you some tips at the end on how to pimp this up and to make the most out of your coffee machine regardless of what coffee machine or piece of equipment that you have so you've got to stay and watch till the end of the video for me to give you those tips okay we're gonna start with the water tank the water tank is detachable so you can actually take it out if you need to take it to a tap I would say don't use straight tap water if you've got a filtered tap then use that or use bottled water although I am a little bit wary because of the environment another thing that you can do to prolong the life of your machine is to use an actual filter in the tank and there is a fitting for that so you can actually buy filters specifically for your tank it will mean that you only have to descale the machine about once a year if you do use these filters uh, I will put all that information up the tank takes about one, one, one and a half liters of water, so that gives you, you're not filling it up all the time. Depends on how much coffee you're drinking. And the hopper is really good. It fits around about 200 to 250 grams of coffee beans, which is about what you would buy from a cafe, unless you're buying large kilos of coffee. You can just fill it up a little bit at a time. It has three grinder settings. The first button is for a single cup. The second button is for a double cup if you want to put two cups underneath it. Uh, you'll see here that there are two spouts where the coffee comes out. This dial here actually controls how much coffee comes out. So the lowest is about 30 mils, which is perfect for an espresso. As you go higher, you get uh, more coffee, so it actually just extracts for longer. I wouldn't suggest having a whole mug of coffee. What I would do is probably fill it up with hot water and then I would float an espresso on top and you'd have a really nice balanced tasting coffee. Wait for the plane and my cat. You've also got a button for bean strength, so that will dictate how much is ground. You can press one, two, or three. I always have it on the third one. There is actually a service button, so you can uh, you can program a whole lot of different things in there, and you can clean the machine. There's loads of things that you can do through that service button. The last button is for the milk. Now they call this the cappuccino torre or the cappuccino tor. I'm obviously and most likely not pronouncing it correctly but it's basically the steam wand or the milk nozzle and what's cool about this is that you can actually just insert the tube straight into the container that the milk's in so whether you're using dairy milk or oat milk or any other alternative milk you can pop the tube into the milk and then once you're done put it back into the fridge it's great and the milk frothing quality is really nice it's really smooth it's creamy you can have either a cappuccino type milk or you can have latte and flat white type milks it's actually it's actually really good considering you really just don't have to do anything a couple of things that are really cool about this coffee machine is that you can actually change the temperature of the water that you're brewing your coffee at and we all know that the temperature of, that you're brewing at actually can change the taste of your coffee so that's a really good point there are three different settings I tend to brew on a slightly higher temperature so this is this has been really good for the coffee that I've been using the machine also lets you know when you need to empty the tray and used coffee grinds so it's really simple and easy to clean which I really like 
The other thing that's really great is that once you're done and you've made your coffee, you can walk away and the coffee machine is gonna turn off itself and before it turns off, it's going to give itself a little clean. So you don't have to do that manually because when you turn it on, it automatically flushes out some water. So you know that you have a, a clean machine to start with every time. I've been a professional in the specialty coffee industry for well over a decade now. And so the things that I think about when I'm testing these machines or coffee equipment at home is quite different to how I would think when I'm in the cafe. So I really wanna get a sense of who the user is when I'm at home. So I actually get into that whole, into the whole mode. So a few things that I think about when I'm testing these machines at home is how convenient is it? How easy is it to use? Because often I unpack these things. I don't even use the manual because I'm just not that kind of person. I want to know that it's intuitive and that it is really straightforward for someone to use. The other thing I look for is obviously the biggest thing is taste and quality. The quality of coffee that comes out. Home espresso machines are going to be a different standard to the commercial grade machines that I would use in a cafe. So if you're expecting an automatic machine to produce something exactly the same as you would in a cafe, then you're going to be disappointed. But there are definitely Definitely machines out there that I've actually shown you guys that I do think are very close and can give you a resemblance of that cafe quality and style that you would get in a cafe but at home. Another cool thing about this is that Melita have an app, which you may have seen me touch on in my last video on the Barista Tia Smart, but I've had a little bit of fun with the Avanza section of this app. It gives you tutorials on how to actually use the machine and to scale it and clean it and all that kind of stuff. And it also gives you diagnostics on the function of each feature. But then there's a section called Perfect Coffee and it gives you a bit of knowledge about coffee, specialty coffees, it gives you definitions, it goes into coffee beans and tells you about harvesting and the perfect grinding level and roasting and water and things like that, which is pretty fun. So even if you don't have a Melita machine, I would suggest you downloading the app and just having a little bit of a peruse through it because it's kind of interesting if you're interested in coffee. A little hack to clean the milk tube is to replace the milk for, with a jug or a glass of water and then turn it on as normal as if you're frothing milk and it will clean the tube easily and then you can pop it away and it'll be out of the way and done. Here are three tips to ensure that you have the best cup of coffee possible from this machine and any machine or any kind of coffee equipment. So the first thing is I would really, really stress that you source good coffee beans. There are loads of specialty coffee roasters out there that you can buy coffee beans from. Uh, a lot of them will be local. A lot of uh, companies are selling coffee online. There are loads of great subscription services that offer a range of different coffees. Now my second tip following on from that is when you're buying espresso beans you want to buy espresso beans as opposed to filter because the roast for filter coffee is generally lighter and the roast for espresso is generally darker but you don't want the roast to be as dark as the commodity coffee that is roasted in supermarket brands. My third tip to make this even more fun is to buy a little milk jug like this. These are not very expensive, you can buy them online and it's really great to use with something like this Avanza because I've tried it a few times and I'm going to show you as well. You can actually froth the milk straight into the jug and then you can scoop off the top layer to get to the creamy latte and flat white type milk that you see in cafes and then with your espresso, so the 30 mils on the sort of the lowest dial, you can practice your latte art. And that just gives you a little bit of added fun if you have some time in the weekend or in the mornings if you get up really early. Uh, so that's just something fun. Otherwise, you can just steam your milk straight into your cup. And if you have it black, then don't worry about this tip. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click subscribe so that you can see more of my upcoming videos or you can visit my website at thegirlinthecafe.co.uk where you'll find my new podcast, a web series and also my online shop where you can buy these beans. 
Also, if you want to connect with me on social media, I've got all the links to my social platforms. I'm most active on Instagram. So I'll see you there. And until then, enjoy. Enjoy.